What's happening everyone? My name is Alex and welcome back. Well, today's video is a bit different. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about the things that we can do with an OTG connector. So this is the same connector that comes in the box with the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus and it's the same connector that we've seen for the Note 8 or the S8, the S7 and so on. Now, most Android devices support OTG and that means on the go. And uh, if this doesn't come in the box with your phone, you can easily buy one for about four to five dollars. And having one of these opens your phone to a lot of possibilities. One of the most useful things you can do with an OTG connector would be to connect a USB stick right to your Android device and access all the data that you have on that USB stick right from your Android device. And the same goes for external hard drives. You just connect an external hard drive and you can access all that data right from your phone. Using the built-in file explorer from your Android device allows you to copy data, move data in between the phone and that um, external drive, which is very useful in a lot of situations. You can also power a lot of USB devices through that OTG connector. So for example, this USB light. This is mostly used for laptops, but if you plug it into that OTG connector, all of a sudden your phone becomes a big flashlight. Of course, this is much more powerful than that um, built-in flash on the back of the phone. And uh, something like this costs about two or three dollars. So very useful in a lot of situations. Next, you could technically plug in a fan. So if you're hot, for example, you can just plug in one of these USB fans um, and your phone can become a fan. I'm not sure when you could technically use this, but it's something that can be done through that OTG connector. Since we can power those USB devices from the phone through that OTG connector, you can also charge other devices from your phone up through that OTG connector. So for example, my smartwatch. I can plug in my smartwatch and I can fully charge it from the phone. And the same goes for headphones, for example, and even other smartphones. You plug in another smartphone and you can charge it from your phone. And I guess that's cool and useful in a lot of situations as well. Another thing you could do with one of these OTG connectors would be to plug in a keyboard. So a keyboard just like you see on my desk. That could be useful if you have to write a long email or if you have to write a paper for school and you don't want to turn on the computer, you can just plug in the keyboard and start typing right away. And the same thing goes for a mouse. You can just plug in a mouse and then you can move the mouse on your phone right there. And that's pretty cool to do actually. And moving on to another thing you can do with that OTG connector, well, you can plug in an external microphone right to your smartphone. This is useful if you're doing the voiceover for a video or if you want to record the video having better sound from an external microphone because the internal microphone is not always the best. Now, unfortunately, the camera app from your Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus doesn't support external microphones, but you can download other camera apps from the Google Play Store and a lot of them support external microphones. And we are moving on to yet another thing that you can do with that OTG connector. So if you have a controller from a PS3 or a PS4, you can get a cable, plug that in and start playing games on your phone with the controller. And that's much simpler to do than actually playing with your hands on the screen. Now, some um, of these controllers, of course, um, work over Bluetooth, but if you have a controller from a PS3 like me, for example, well, this one doesn't work um, over Bluetooth. And the only way to use this on your um, phone is through an OTG connector. And that's not all that you can do with an OTG connector. If you have one of these card readers and you can find them fairly cheap. This one, for example, is about $2 and this one was um, about $10. So let's say that you have a quadcopter. You lend the quadcopter because, of course, you're low on battery. You can just take out um, the SD card from that um, quadcopter, plug it into the... Um, card reader, plug that into the OTG connector and all of a sudden you can see everything that you have on that SD card and save it on the phone. The same goes for a camera. Let's say you take a couple of pictures here, a couple of pictures there. You can just take out the SD card from the camera, plug it into the card reader and see whatever you have on that um, SD card and basically copy the pictures right on your phone. So, so many possibilities that you have um, with one of these card readers. And these are just some of the things that you can do with an OTG connector. You could technically use your phone as a monitor for your DSLR camera with one of these OTG connectors as well. Well, if you have any other ideas what I could possibly do with one of these um, OTG connectors, leave a comment down below and I'm going to try um, all your suggestions because I'm always interested in finding out what else I could possibly do with one of these. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.